here we are at Cruden Gardens. First time ever been here. This place was, I guess, created or lived in by Keith and Elizabeth Murdoch. Yes, the Murdochs, the parents of Rupert Murdoch and other Murdochs. And uh, this is an estate of theirs, Cruden Farms, I guess it's called. And yeah, there's plenty of vegetation. There's an old, there's old historic sort of buildings up that way. Uh, and here's, here's the pool. There's a duck. There's a duck in their pool. Murduck. That's the Murducks? Yeah, I will call him Rupert Murduck. Yeah. And there's lots of bees around. And there's lots of flowers everywhere. There's like little gardens to explore. So let's go exploring. And the fragrance that I'm wearing in this lovely, lovely garden is none other than Noble Fig by Ferrari. Because this is a very noble place. Look, they've got they've got little stable houses and everything, and and, and very sort of stately mansions and historic homes made of real rock and made by real slaves. I mean workers. And there's moss on rocks. Uh, what else would you uh, classify as noble? Here we are in the stable houses. Let me walk around. It's pretty cool. There should be horses in here, but there looks like to be a golf buggy instead. And it is a Mercedes-Benz golf buggy. And this is where this is where the staff drink, uh, or maybe the horses. I'm not sure. But either way, there's roof tiles with moss on it as well. And wherever there's moss, there's nobility. And therefore, it is Noble Fig today by Ferrari. And there's ideas of nobility uh, and whether or not it's linked to, I don't know, to wealth. Is nobility linked to wealth? Can you measure it that way? I mean, the title of being a noble is certainly linked to a class, class division sort of position, but in this day and age, do we even have anything as nobility? That's what I'd like to find out. Does it still exist? And as I sit on a bench looking at this flower garden, I think... Oh, my flower garden. Uh, hold on. Nice flower garden. And even though we're not in the Mediterranean, uh, figs still have some connotation to nobility. I mean, figs are pretty expensive. Uh, not where I come from. Figs are supposed to be really nice. And one of my favorite fruits, so a fig, is just an inverted flower. It's actually all it is. It's not actually a real fruit. It's an inside-out flower. Think about that. Noble fig. Oh. Yes. Mm, the florals are filling the air with the flowers that are in bloom here. 
Is this a rose? Interesting. Wow. And the the florals are coming off on my arm as well from noble fig. Uh, and there's a hint of fig at the background still, but it's all about the florals right now. As it develops and probably dries down to its green figginess once again. Oh, little plums. And as with all nobility, you take the grassy and blue stone steps down towards your tennis court. Yes, of course, your tennis court. Uh, in an almost amphitheater-like setting with your enormous oak behind you and your manicured gardens overlooking your palatial estate and the weather is always nice and that is the feeling of noble fig yes and that sort of concludes the video on this one which is Ferrari's Noble Fig. I'm sure there's much nicer, much more realistic, much more transparent sort of fig fragrances out there but this one is really nice to be able to really one, two, three, four and five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten and a million plus splash out on because it is so inexpensive and it still gives you a nice blast of green fig with some florals in the mid to back it up uh, and for me the powderiness of the green fig kind of lasts for quite a while and I'm gonna enjoy it on a day like this where the sun's shining and the, uh, the sunroof is open and the sunglasses are on it's just perfect and it makes me feel noble like an inverted flower cheers <laughs>